Okay, so plenty of guys been asking me about my whipping setup and what I use and all of that. So might as well make a quick video. And cause we're in quarantine, no more nothing better for do right now anyway. So here we go. So I usually use a one ounce egg lead. Um, depending on your pole's rating, you should see how much heavy you can throw on your pole. But use about on one end, so one ounce. I like them heavy. Um, regular barrel swivel green bead and um this is a mutsu circle hook from blacktail fishing you can use size 10 b cans is about the comparable that's what i would usually use and then uh, this is optional is just to dress up your lures a little bit all right so after you thread your line through your guys on your pole you take your egg lead, egg lead thread them this is a 10 pound mono by the way on my um, 3000 size reel. This is a gold bead. This is like an insurance policy. Basically it's a shock absorber to protect your knots because when you're whipping your lead going to keep banging against your swivel. And you don't like the lead bust up your knot and lose the fish when you hook up. So this kind of protects the knot with shock absorber. The B. You take your swivel. This is a knot I use. Um, I say it's called a uni knot, but I've seen different ways of guys tying it. But uh, you can research what kind of knot you like use. Palomars are really good, easy to tie. I really like the uni. I just use this for everything. So you just kind of like put the line through the swivel and back. So you make a double line like this. Take the tag end, make a loop and circle with them then go in and out of that circle about four or five times three four and then you pull them tight look like that you pull them down to your swivel you're not you come out looking pretty cherry like that so not bad not you cut the excess and now for your leader you use about I use J line six pound fluorocarbon anything from six to eight pound is probably good go up to ten I make about an arm span And we use the same knot for attach them to the other end of the swivel. So through the swivel, let the thing make a loop. You're going around both ends of that loop about four or five times. One, two, three. Four, five. Now the more you tie these knots, the easier they get. It's, it's kind of good to just kind of practice them on spare pieces of line. You know, pull that tight. And get the same knot on that end. And cut off the axis. Now these beads I showed you earlier, it's pretty much for decoration for dress up your grub or lure or whatever. It's a little bit more attractive in the water. It's not really necessary, but I find, I think it helps, so I don't know, I use them. So I'll put the green beads on first. Just a couple, two or three, no matter. The red one last. And then your hook. 
I use the same knot again, that uni. So through the back of the shank. So bring it back around. So I get a double line. Okay. Take the tag in. Make a loop. I don't know if you guys can see that in this camera. And go through that loop four or five times. Always make sure you tie your knots good. Some guys, I know you get excited for getting your line in the water because you like catch fish, especially if you're fishing for like Hallelu and Akuli and the bite is good. You cannot wait for get your line back in for hookup, but better you make sure you tie them right so you don't lose on fish due to a busted knot or something, which is sick. Cut the axis. So make sure your knots are good. That's it. Every once in a while, I'll double check my leader when I'm throwing to make sure no more any frays or anything like that. But that's my basic whipping setup. And um, good luck, guys. Get them.